So if you're watching and you'd like to do the same challenge we just did, pause the video and spend the next few minutes writing down all the pieces in book one, two, three in order. And now we're going to play a little game. Get your violins, please. Do you want to score or do you want to just play? Score. Score, obviously. <laughs> Okie dokie.
it's not. So I was <laughs> giving you a coin. <laughs> no. If you've already played it, it's not going to be right, is it?
Sometimes. I was thinking that one. Yeah. Um, and then in book one, which are the ones that kind of get us ready for this, I'm going to take a lot. Uh, I'm going to say no, actually. It's one of the very few things that doesn't really happen in your art. The goodbye and everything. <laughs> Except repeated uppers. Oh. Minuet two? All the minuets. All the minuets, yeah. The minuet bowing, yeah. Happy? Uh, oh, not really. Not really. Um, I mean, Gavrot does have. <coughs> dun, 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 dun. Yes, you're not wrong. It is in there, but it's not really a teaching point of the piece. Good. Okay. So, what would we think of being the main teaching point of Bach Barrow? Let's talk about the exam pieces, seeing as you know them. String crossing. String crossing. Excellent. So, if we're talking about string crossing. Which pieces really get you ready for that in book three? You can use your books. Do use your books, because if you don't, you don't follow it. You're just going to be staring into space thinking, ah. Oh. Humorous is some, but not really. Yeah, good, I would agree. But you're saying Beret is the main one? Well, if we're working backwards, Beret's yeah. got the most sophisticated string crossing in book three, hasn't it? Yes. It's not very fun. It's not very fun. Yeah, as I say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gilbert and Yes, well done. The second part. Yeah, all that. That kind of thing. Good. Back of the rock, yes or no? We've already said not really. Go on, G minor? Not really. No, not at all. Um, Bach Minuet? Not really. Good. And Martini Gavot? Not really. Not really. Possibly? Not Possibly. Much. I mean, that's why I said really small. <laughs> <laughs> so, which pieces in book two get us ready for Gavot and D and Bach Barrow in terms of string crossings? Judas Mac, yes or no? No. No. Music. Yeah, feel free to look at the books. Yeah. Uh, no. Well, a little bit. Not yeah, really. a little bit. It's more on one strip. Oh, mm, I'd say it's more on one strip. Do, 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 oh, it's at the very end. Do, 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 Yeah, I would say, let's put it this way, if you can't play Musette with beautiful string crossing, you're definitely not going to be able to play Bach for it with beautiful string crossing. Mm -hmm. It's probably not that you need to go back that far for most of your students if they're having trouble with it, but it's a, it's a good basic to kind of check. So a bit like Martini Gavot, we're just going to put it small. Hunter's Chorus. Mm -hmm. If we're thinking about Bach for a style string crossing. Yes, no. 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 Long, long ago. The second part, yes. But not, not as long the same text. style. Yeah, no. so no. What? Wait, this one. Mm -hmm. No. 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 For it. No. A little bit. Yeah, much. I think probably yes. In that, not it's actually scale, but, it, but I mean, if you look at Bach Barrow, loads of it is scales, isn't it? Sure. So I think again, small. It's not your main go-to piece, but it's one of the pieces. Two brand ideas. Uh, yes. No. Not so different in style. Go. So different in style is not going to be the answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is dance. Possibly. Yes, I mean, which is dance is very different in style again, but because it's got all those string crossings, it's so good for string crossing. So I would definitely put it as a string crossing piece. It's not the kind of main Bach Barrow feeder piece, 
but it is brilliant for string crossing. Mignon. Yes. Yes. Definitely. And definitely connected in terms of the weirdness. The weirdness. <laughs> really? Uh, kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Beethoven being wet. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. I've got really mean Yes. I but no, I don't know. I'll help you with no, really style. Well. No. Good. The bottom D, would you say that it has other things in it that are really key for the teaching points? What is why why do you think Bob Gavot and Dean exists in the repertoire? Double stops. Good. Um and that weird bowing. Which weird bowing? Yeah, so just kind of complicated slurs. But the double stops is very much one of the big things, isn't it? Like you said in your feedback that you want more info about when things happen the first time. This is yeah. your first double stop with the bow. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, we're just going to end with <coughs> a load of letters. <laughs> That's okay. Double stops. Um, in fact, I'm just going to use the word chords instead, even though double stops. So, I think, but I think this is correct. Officially, a double stop is a type of chord, but a chord is not necessarily a double stop. No. Does that make sense? No. So if you think about like vegetables, oh. <laughs> <laughs> if I must, <laughs> um, a courgette is a type of vegetable, yeah. but a vegetable is not necessarily a courgette. The group yeah. of the group of things we call vegetables is huge, mm -hmm. and courgette's one of them. So if you yeah. say, is this a vegetable about a courgette, the answer is definitely yes. Whereas if I say, I have a vegetable behind my back, is it a courgette? No, it could be all sorts of other things. Oh, yeah. So a chord is anything that's more than two notes at a time, two notes or more, mm -hmm. but a double stop is not necessarily a chord. Like a, the, the chord is not necessarily a double stop, because a double stop is distinct two notes at a time. Rather than so if you have three or four, it is not a double stop, right. but it's still a chord. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, great. So, uh, so I'm going to write chords because partly it will make it easier for us to remember what we were talking about when we look at the So would you, later. what would the right tone be then? Would it be chords or would it actually be double stops? In this context, either. Mm -hmm. But if you said, play me the double stop in bar two of bar bure, that would be incorrect because it's got three notes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, two. two or more is a chord. Yep. Okay. So where else do we get chords or preparation for chords? Well, obviously we just talked about that. Before, right? so.
for example, I mean, the cause really kind of comes more in book four and five, but if you had a book five student who was struggling with playing the double stops in the bar, good box at the beginning, which you're about to hear twice in the concert, but you will know it quite well by the end of it, uh, you would take them back through bar four chord, or like from, if you wanted to move forward through the repertoire, which is a better idea, from Mignon, practice the pizzicato chords at the end, into uh, Gavot in D major and then Bar Fore, and then Book Four, you've got the um, chords in the sites, particularly size three, which you're also going to hear that whole section of double stops in the middle, right towards the end. Um, and then Book Five, you've got the Bar Gavots, and then Book Six, you've got La Folia, which has loads and loads of chords in the end and some in the middle. Okay, so Humorous, what's the main teaching point? Oh, shit. What's it all about? Well done! If you are teaching the way that I have taught you to, which pieces will you be doing shifting in? Going backwards. Minuet. Well done. I wouldn't really call that shifting, but well done. Boccherini Minuet though has their da ba ba harmonics. Yeah? Uh, and where's the first shift that we do normally? It's never going to be wrong because you can always make them better. But that's not quite the answer I'm looking for. The mm -hmm. answer I'm looking for is the end of Lully is a really good place to put that first shift in on the do, A, two for the end. Yeah? Oh, okay. And it depends whether you use the extension or the um, shift in the middle. I'm using the extension, so I'm not going to put it on there as a thing. Uh, and then um, Musette has the harmonic at the end of it. So if you're thinking about book two is where you're teaching and then how to shift, you are doing all of your twinkles in different positions, you are doing all of those early book one pieces in different positions, they're learning how to do ghosties in and out of first and third position, they're just learning the mechanics of shifting, and the ability to play pieces in a different position from first position, which is not shifting, playing in a different position. And then once they're into book two, you start to incorporate that into those pieces so they have a first shift to a harmonic, they have a first shift to the last note, which is a stopped note, then in book reading minuet they've got the harmonics again. And then once you get into book three, you have a little bit of shifting in the bar minuet and minor part. You've got loads of shifting in humoresque. You've got bits of shifting in Becca Gavot, you've got no shifting, uh, one shift in Gavot and D major, and then Bar Fouré is in first position, but with lots of interesting left hand stuff. And then, so hopefully, if they've done those pieces, once you get into book four, and they're doing the shifting that is optional in the sites concertos, that by the time they get to Vivaldi A minor, they are actually ready to play a piece that's got lots of notes you can't play in first position. Otherwise, bang into a brick wall that will make everyone unhappy. Right. I think we're going to leave this on, it kind of goes into what we're going to talk about after lunch, after the concert. So we'll pause that there. We only have half an hour for lunch today because of the concert. So I will see you in half an hour and we will have a lovely concert.